In this video we will build a chat app using .NET Core and Pusher. Before we start building the app I would like to remind you that this video can be combined with other videos. So if you want to use C Sharp with any of these frontend frameworks I provided some links in the description of this video. The combinations are required so after you finish this video you have to build one frontend. Now let's start building the backend. So let's create the .NET project, I'm in an empty folder now and run .NET new web API. So this uh, will create the project for us. So now it is created, I will open it with my IDE. So in this example I will use a Rider, it is a product from IntelliJ but you can use Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code. Now let's make some changes, I will remove this uh, weather forecast controller and this uh, weather forecast here. I will go to the startup and I will remove Swagger here, also here. And uh, I will go also to the launch settings and here. I will remove the HTTPS and I will add only the HTTP with the port 8000 because uh, all our backends will have the port 8000. So that's it. We also need to add cores. So I will add here services, add cores. First, what is cores? Cores uh, is uh, uh, that uh, our backend will run on port 8000 and our frontend will run on a different port. If a frontend uh, with a different port requests this backend, the browser will prevent that. And to enable uh, that request, we have to add cores. So that's it. Uh, we need to add also some other configuration. App use cores we'll have some options that uh, these options we need to add the origins so with origins we need to put here uh, an array so uh, we need to put uh, so new string array like this and uh, here we will put uh, HTTP localhost port 3000 is for React and I will copy this this is for Vue.js and this is for Angular also this is for Svelte so 5000 so all of them are here, uh, now we need to add also allow any header and allow any method and that's it, we added course. Now let's create our controller, I will create a controller here, chat controller. So we have this uh, controller, I will add here route, this is a prefix of uh, this controller, we will start with API and this is an API controller. Also uh, the method that uh, we will use is uh, an HTTP POST to messages. So the endpoint will be a POST request to API slash messages. And uh, this uh, function now, for the moment uh, I won't return anything because uh, in order to complete uh, this uh, function we have to uh, log in to pusher. So uh, we will use pusher in this example. Let's sign in. I signed in now. So you create a free channel here. I will uh, go to my channel and uh, go to getting started 
And this is a code that we need to add to our frontend. We need to go to this curl and switch it to .NET. So this is a code that we need to add to our app. So first we have to install the pusher server. So to install it, run .NET, add package. I'll copy this, pusher server. So we added that package and uh, now let's uh, make this a task. So this will be asynchronous. So I'll copy this and uh, this I action result now is a task. So let's import also system threading task here. This is a message and uh, I will copy the code here for pusher. So I will copy this and I will add it here. Let's import uh, the pusher options and pusher. So everything is uh, okay till now. We have to change the channel to chat and the event name is message. So we need to send some data and the data we will pass it as a request here. So I'll create uh, another directory DTOs. So DTO stands for data transfer objects and I will create a class here message DTO. And uh, this class will have a, a public string username set get and uh, also public string uh, message. So I'll make them lowercase actually because uh, this is how the front end will require them and uh, uh, or, or I will make them upper case and I will change it when we send the request. So I will do it like this. I will, I will make them uppercase and uh, here as a request we'll have uh, the message DTO DTO. And uh, when we send uh, the request, we'll send, uh, uh, we have the message here, which is uh, DTO message and also the username which is DTO username, like this. So these are the data that we will send and uh, in the end we'll return an empty array. So we'll return OK, new string array like this. So that's it. Uh, so what is, uh, what did I miss here? So it should be okay. Uh, I will remove this uh, variable result here because uh, we don't use it. And it seems I forgot another curly brace here and everything is correct. Now to test this endpoint, we have to use Postman. So let's uh, go to Postman and we will send a post request. So first let's run this project. So dot net run. And uh, we will send a post request to HTTP localhost port 8000 slash API slash messages. And the body will send uh, uh, the username John and uh, the message hi. So uh, our project is running and also I will go to overview. Uh, we have uh, zero messages today and when I send this request uh, we will see one message. So let's send this request. I got an empty array so that is fine and uh, y is 56 and now one. Maybe it's a bug of uh, a pusher. So we have uh, total messages sent today one. So this is our uh, app 
and uh, to fin to complete this up you have to build also the front end so check the links in the description to complete also the front end so thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe